everybody and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix and today I'm joined with Kenzie. Hello. And today we're going to be reading more Total Drama ships. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and I found this good one. It's super good. Good writing, good plot, and good everything. And it is a Noah X Cody. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> Me too. This is a... A complete one and they do have a sequel out so I will have this link down below if you guys want to just binge read this one one day but the sequel is still going right now so you can't just sit down you're reading one setting but uh, this is learning to love you I know a X Cody fan fiction oh boy <laughs> I I kind of do like this ship it's really nice yeah how how do you feel about the ship? I don't know how strong you are about total drama ships. I mean, it's kind of. I mean, I can kind of see it to be honest. I mean, I definitely prefer over Cody and Sierra mm -hmm. because I just do not understand that ship at all. So like, <laughs> they're better as friends, but, but yeah. But I think it's I think it's pretty solid. I would say. Mm -hmm. Total drama named justively has proven to Noah to make friends isn't as isn't all that easy. Come a slight chance that he actually does make a friend in Cody Anderson, a dorky wannabe ladies man. Noah finds that hard finds it hard to not fall in love. Okay. Ooh, interesting. <laughs> I'm intrigued already. Oh, sorry about the P PO boob replacer on my thing. I'm not gonna get rid of it for. <laughs> any of these oh. books <laughs> <laughs> all right how Fair many enough. chapters are there i think there's 20 oh my god yeah i don't remember how long these are so we're gonna just play by ear on this okay all right uh would you like me to go first um sure all right all right title the total drama continuum it was there are very few circumstances in which I would put all reason aside and submit myself to an aching and likely temporary love story. Don't get me wrong, I can pick out people who qualify as attractive, but allowing myself to become a slave to lust was a big no-no. I have watched many suffer from infatuation that they have at the same- wait, hold on. <laughs> May <laughs> suffer from infatuation that they had at the time thought was true love. I have watched those same people crumble themselves into human balls of paper and allow themselves to toss at the, uh, hypo- Shit. <laughs> the invisible, uh, waste bin. <laughs> Becoming completely dysfunctional. Being the prestigious snob I am, I am- I have such more potential than to waste my precious energy on anyone but myself. I know I'm probably sounding like a real asshat. Oh. But it's sort of true. I suppose I'm similar to a monk. I set all romantic and sexual feelings aside so I can put my effort in completing high school and cruising my way through adulthood without having any, about making any stupid mistakes. I know it sounds a bit paranoid, but as cheesy and predictable as it sounds, better safe than sorry. Despite my dedication and purity to my academics, I decided to send a video audition for a reality show. And frankly, see, and frankly, seemed a bit sketchy due to the lack of details and insisting on having life insurance before applying. I figured that winning a good hundred grand can't be so bad of a deal. And with my excellent luck, and with my excellent luck, perhaps I'll have something unique to put on my college applications in my oh-so-bright future. I didn't do anything flashy or something completely out of character for the pretentious Noah. Der. Jury? Bruh? I cannot read that. I cannot yeah, I read that properly. Name. But, okay. <laughs> so naturally, I used my video audition to show off my status of student council president. I could say I wasn't, I wasn't actually internally thrilled when I got the call back saying I could, I, I would get to participate in whatever cheap, des desperate for, ca for cash reality show they'll be throwing me into next week. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd be lying. My first in seek, seek was to start packing my books into one suitcase. I could easily clean off a novel in a few hours if I didn't have anything to distract me. So I shoved as many as I 
as I could fit inside into near in, into the rolling trunk and pulled another out of my out of my closet to fill with a pile of clothes laying on on my bed. Most of them were gay looking pieces. <laughs> So hopefully I can make the an accurate impression. <laughs> it seem it seems to be the general consensus to everyone who meets me that that I'm a gay, pretentious know it all. I can't help but to agree. I love that it's like canon in this book that he's right. very <laughs> <laughs> He really wasn't kidding when he said gay looking <laughs> That's pretty funny. I love it already. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> the second I stepped off past the noisiest motorboat motorboat boat in all of Canada, I saw a group of teenagers standing on the dock of a of a crappy island that looked like it used to be a dump or something. Is this where we're staying? I asked the host with a snarky tone, trying to emphasize the homo in my nasally voice. And oh, Einstein no. looking asshole cracked his knuckles and smirked. No, it's your mother's house. He hissed silently, and we're throwing a party. <laughs> oh my gosh. So in character, I love it. I love Duncan, he's the best. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the Duke grinned, making him look making him look like the shark from Finding Nemo. You mean Bruce? <laughs> so yeah, right? <laughs> The snowflake had a nice green colored mohawk sitting on top of a face full of full of lead piercings. Nice piercings, original. See them yourself. I, I, I pointed his face that that had now got as blank as his shit filled head. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, you want one? Then then Mr. Hair Gel reaches for my lower lip and pulls on it, pointing a needle downward. I rolled my eyes. Uh, uh, no, thank you. Can I have my Can I have my lip back, please? I attempted to spit out, but but it was muffled by his filthy, filthy hands <laughs> all up in my business. Dang. I feel like Noah would be a neat freak. Like oh, he's yeah, like very absolutely. into like not getting germs on him, you know. Absolutely, I agree. He released my lip, making me stumble backwards. I rolled my eyes again. Trying to make it obvious to tough guy, tough guy with the earrings, I escorted myself to the back of the dock behind everyone else. As the other uh, super lucky okay. contestants were boating in, I did my best to learn their names. But let's face the music; I was not listening. Few actually <laughs> made enough of impression to my overloaded brain to stand out. There was a way too happy guy with a hot pink shirt that was completely unbuttoned. Though, I'm not complaining. He's really hot. Wait, who had a pink shirt that was, like, super unbuttoned? Oh, Jeff! Wait, Jeff! Yeah. Oh. yeah. I thought that was purple. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. And another was a girl who had such big boobs, she looked like she was about to topple over. But one Wendy. word from her, I recognize it's all the air in her head keeping her upright. There was another large guy who has as much energy as he has XX bat body fat. Why you gotta do Owen like that? That's Owen. Damn, he really did Owen so dirty. Damn. The host and his egotistical chief skate, who was n no problem leading 22 teenagers up a thousand foot cliff to dive into shark infested waters below it. And so me and the happy-go-lucky team of mine stood and watched the opposite team jump first. I wasn't going to let a face plant into a, a freaking lake stop me from having at least taking the victory of my riffraff team. I don't even remember most of their names. I know the big guy's Owen. Booms McBrain Dead is actually Lindsay. Booms McBrain. <laughs> Damn. You know these are the names he came up with in his head. I feel like this is... Yeah, that's, that, that totally is. Absolutely. Yeah, that totally is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some guy who liked to think that he was all that with, with, with his gait, with his gait, <laughs> his guitar, and crap, and crap was pulling moves on a perfectly pushover special snow, snowflake goth girl. <laughs> Another shorter kid with a gap on his teeth, teeth was trying to mimic the guitarist guy, likely trying to pick up the dude's emo queen. 
Needless to say, the kid was completely ignored. I kind of feel bad for him. He seemed like a pretty friendly guy. Just one of those guys who who wished they could be they, they could be a player, but couldn't be. <laughs> Don't bother, dude. Everyone's here everyone everyone here's too self-absorbed sort to have any sympathy. I I half mutter, half whisper to the to the gap tooth kid. <laughs> he gave me a small toothy smile. Poor guy looked so pathetic. I couldn't help myself but to smile back. And, and that's not something I do very often. But something about it, about this dor- dorky kid made, made me sympathize a bit. Oh, Ooh, he's got the for Cody. started already! Let's go! Yes! <laughs> I'm but, loving this. All but two campers from the other team, the killer bass, ended up jumping. I jumped after the guitar-wielding weirdo. Owen was the last to jump after a stubby girl with a bad lips chickened out on us. If Owen didn't jump, we would have tied the challenge. Guitar man, a.k.a. Trent, and I floated in the middle of the shark-free zone and watched as Owen Owen made his plummet off the cliff. Not until he hit the water did we realize how bad of an idea that was to, to still be in the water. At the same time, Ending with me toppling onto the sand, legs in the air. As gracious I am as we won the first challenge. I was not so thrilled that my hair was all soaked and sandy. My inner diva won't allow it. (laughs) (laughs) I cursed under my breath and wrung the salty water out, out of the mop on my head as the rest of my team loaded a bunch of big ass crates into to the hand cards we won as as a reward from from the first godforsaken challenge i ended up having to pull out the the lindsay yacht and until she got distracted to by an oh so pretty seashell after all 100 bottles of, of the sing song pop have happened to fall we we actually made it to where the cabins where the cabins for our team teams were the cabins were, the the cabins were actually what you'd expect from a summer camp, log bunk beds with with scratchy blankets, sucky air conditioning, and, and enough insects to do my own research project. Chris, our ma- our madam of a host, ha- has us upon our has us upon our cr- creates 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 with our teeth. I I really am in the presence of a true genius. A completely insane chick, Liz- Lizzie or something, is particularly good at this challenge. Using the crap, in- using the crap inside these crates, we had to pull, we had to build a hot tub. G- given that we had all the pieces, I'm actually not too worried about this challenge. Just as I thought, the building process wasn't too bad. Not to mention the other team kept, kept their pool together with duct tape. Freaking duct tape. Needless to say, Chris gave us the win, so we got to have a steamy, a steamy ass pool party. As much as I love wet shirtless guys in swimsuits, I kept my, oh my eyes gosh. glued to my book. <laughs> oh my gosh! My tactic was not to stand out too much to everyone else, but sometimes even buttholes like myself had to celebrate such a dominating victory. <laughs> so it turns out during the elimination, the killer bass got rid of some kid named Ezekiel, but I couldn't put a face in the name. By the news got surrounded, most campers were turned in for tonight. My team, the Screaming Gophers, genius name I know, was in one cabin and the killer bass were in the other. The guys were on one side and the girls were on the other. So I was stuck with Owen, Trent, the gap tooth kid whose was name is Cody, and some dream boat dude whose name is Justin. There wasn't a lot of talking going on before we all fell asleep. I got to bunk under Justin, even though I specifically told all the dudes there that I hate take. I hate the top bunk. Not that it mattered, but I fell asleep almost immediately. I would rather kill myself than (laughs) do the next challenge. Chrissy Pew wants us to run 20k? Screw that. I must have made it 15 minutes before I tripped on a rock. Instead of being one of those overachiever athlete jocks, I just lied down and shut my eyes. It turned out to be a smart move, because Owen thought I was unconscious or something, so he he slung me over his shoulder, shoulder for the rest of the race. I wait, if they Oh. <laughs> wait, it, wait, if they lost, that means we won. I heard Gothy girl said. 
I opened my eyes and, and cheered when I heard it. After that, we were, we, we were rewarded with, with the first actual meal all season, a huge turkey buffet. It was beautiful. After an hour long of eating to our heart's content, we, we were all satisfied by the day's mile challenge. For the second part of the challenge, Chris cheered. You, 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 you've got to be shitting me, man. I'm, I, I'm, I'm about to crash after, after the ran in the meal. You mean eat, You mean eating was it the second challenge? Owen yelled, mouth full of food. <laughs> Don't worry, this one's easy. Chris smirked. This one, this one's an awakeathon. Most, most, most of us too stuffed to mood, mood murmur amongst ourselves, afraid. Awakeathon meant meant what we thought. Wait, meant what we thought it it of it, but they accidentally put it twice. But e easy. Last camper awake wins wins for their team. Groovy. Meet meet me at the campfire in ten minutes. I had myself prompted up against a log, purposely trying to make myself as uncomfortable as possible so I wouldn't fall asleep. I was shining it up lazily with Owen and Cody. Man, Owen groans, how long has it been? I got to have at least six hours by now. It's been 45 minutes, big guy. This is going to be a longer challenge for you, I sneer. Owen's moans and falls on his side lazily. Cody is staring at Trent and Gwen, who are both wide awake and flirting with each other shamelessly. Poor guy has been crushing on the goth goddess since day one, and not... Once has she paid any attention to the little dude. Damn. Do you think she'll ever come to her senses and realize that I'm a much better option to her than Trent is? He sighed, talking to no one in particular, but I was listening. Mostly because distracting myself was going to keep me awake. Unlikely. I patted myself. I pat myself unenthusiastically. Cody sighs again and slumps defeatedly on the sides on a sideways Owen. <laughs> Maybe you're right. She's going to even she has she's never going to look at me as long as Trent's around. I actually feel bad for him, but something about the way he was still so devoted to that blue hair freak after she pays no attention to him bothers me. <laughs> okay, so we're about fifteen hours in and, and about twenty five percent of the campers are out cold, including Owen, Lindsay and the stubby girl and and a few from the killer bass. I'm trying to suppress my exhaustion by exhaustion by by finishing one of the several novels I bought I brought for, with me. Trent and Gwen were still flirting, which was keeping them awake, so I can't argue too much. Chris decides that it's going too slow, so he drags out a storybook. Once he begins reading, I get distracted from my own reading. So so I put my book down, glaring at Chris. I instantly regretted doing that. Be, because that was the last thing I rem I remember before falling asleep. Oh shit, we're gonna get the scene. No. Oh yes, let's go! Let's go! Yes! Here's the good part. I woke up to the feeling of something soft against my face and lips. I don't know how I I don't know how I woke up kissing it, but it felt nice. Felt nice, you say? Ooh. Ooh. Juicy. Well, at least until I until I got my common sense back. And realized exactly what I was kissing. Actually, more like who I was kissing. That who is Cody. As soon as I got my senses, I jumped up and screamed in his face. Him mirroring my terror. God, God, what a way to appear on national television, Noah. Jesus Christ. I, I, haul, I hauled ass to the cabin and, and properly fell asleep by myself. I may add... God, that was awful. I love the amount of comments on each one, like, during right? the scene. There's 58 <laughs> just on the I woke up, like, feeling something soft. Right. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I was woken up right. by Gwen, Trent, and the crazy girl Izzy, and some Asian chick who thinks she runs the place, Heather coming into the cabin. I didn't know exactly what time it was, but it's dark, so it's not exactly a time I wanted to be up. Especially after this challenge from hell, I sat up at the bed and glared at the guys coming in. At least tell me you guys won. I half snickered, half yawned. Heather rolled her eyes. Gwen here won. The other team sent Eva home. Heather, si Heather hissed. 
I'm pretty sure Eva was the muscle cow with the unibrow and the bag full of dumbbells. I laid back down and flickered the the Properdale lights off in my brain. I'm ready to win this thing. Too bad you're gonna get eliminated. <laughs> right. Tomorrow. Good luck with that. All right. Re rest for the wicked. The first rule of dodgeball is I kept a straight face and spat. Don't talk about dodge. Don't talk about dodgeball. Everyone around me laughed. Owen must have found it especially funny because he erupted so hard he nearly shit his <laughs> pants. Anyway, dodgeball was not something I was into. I can debate the I can deba debate the pants off anyone. I I can run an entire school election in office, but dodgeball? Nuh-uh, honey, not happening. No Noah, don't do dodgeball or any sports for <laughs> for that matter. And that's the reason why you didn't make it that far, dude. Because that's what total drama challenges are all about. Yeah, you didn't make it that far, bro. Because of your one reason. <laughs> You yeah. at least tried. <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on, dude. Anyone anyone want to volunteer to sit out with Sleeping Beauty on the bench? He Heather bossed. I had to take this opportunity. Fine, I smirked. I'll do it. I sat down on the bench bench next to a very tired Gwen and, and opened one of my few precious un unread books. Thus, I had no idea what is happening on the on the court. But they didn't need to know that. So, so I made crude, mostly sarcastic attempts to look like I was paying attention. <laughs> Knock him out! Throw him out! Rah, rah! I, I have heartily chant, chant, not once looking up, up from the book. This earned me a nice dodgeball to the face by an unknown member of my team, probably Gwen or Heather. But both those girls are, are great A bitches. <laughs> you got that right. So I guess it doesn't matter which one it was. I I sent my glare in the in the general general direction of my team, and continued to read, do, doing my best to ignore the whole sports commotion going on. So it turns out my oh so lucky team lost the challenge, so we get to go to the the fire and get rid of someone. My vote is on Lindsay. I swear I lose a brain cell every time I talk to that blonde rock. <laughs> Dang. Dang, he is like ripping into her. <laughs> Damn, she didn't even do anything yet. Yeah, exactly. Poor Lindsay. Yeah, well, the rest of my lovely team decided slash decided I was the extendable one, as if. You just voted out the only one with any brains around here. I shrugged. Chef Hatchet, the guy making all of these great A meals around here, dumped my two bags at the end of the dock. It probably would be easier for me to leave this dump if I wasn't getting pelted with marshmallows. Good job, guys. Marshmallows. Real painful, I assure you. I get on the motorboat as unenthusiastically as I did when I got here and let the piece of junk take me who, who knows where. As much as I hope that I'm being zoned off to a nearby airport so I can go home where I where there is solitude, cable TV, digestible food, and unlimited books... Of course, I'm taken to an island that decked out in a fake-ass palm trees and such. <laughs> Turns out, this is where Mr. Haircut sends the losers after they're done. Admittedly, it was a step up from the trashy com summer camp, but it's not quite vacation resort. Once I once I check into a room, I have to get my, my own... I, I, I get to have my own peace and quiet, which... Which is a luxury I, I haven't had since since I sold my soul to reality TV. <laughs> the rooms were acceptable for, for my own pretentious needs. There there were two rooms in it: a living room, a living room that was empty with the exception of of a television ho hooked up to the wall, to the wall, a a couch opposite opposite the TV, and a desk table next to, de next to that. In the bedroom there was a nice beach house there was a nice beach house style bed. With, with, with a night table beside it, and a shorter table at the end of the bed. I put my suitcases on the shorter table and immediately went to to hunt down the bathrooms. L lucky for me, the bathrooms were as communal as they were back on the island. Except these ones are actually clean. 
Connected to them was a shower house with nothing but 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 an ugly green curtain separated the the outside world with with what with one's naked body. Wait a minute, their hotel rooms don't have a bathroom. <laughs> Right? <laughs> they have to use the ones that the hotel provides, like, in, like, the lobby. What the hell? Right? <laughs> that can't be good. That was, like, <laughs> shit, dude. You're t- yeah, that's awful. <laughs> Everyone wants their own bathroom, especially in a hotel. Exactly. Like, come on. Damn. They, they, they did my boy Noah dirty right here. They did all these right? contestants dirty by not Damn. giving him a bathroom. <laughs> Damn. After I did my business, yeah. After I did my business, I went back to my room and turned on the TV. And you know what I saw? The freaking promos to Total Drama Island. Like it was the first thing I wanted to see. Now that I'm off that sucky island, nah, honey, not today. Of course, I watched it anyways. Like the diva I am, who soaks in reality TV like a sponge. (laughs) It's my guilty pleasure. (laughs) <laughs> the first episode hasn't aired yet, so the viewing world gets a extra few weeks before they know what damage has been done of their favorite campers. <laughs> After I was thoroughly informed about what I had already first hand first handedly experienced anyway, I ended up watching a show about dudes turning people's cars into pimped out cruisers. <laughs> <laughs> After I lost interest in that, I ended up cracking one of my unread books open. It wasn't going to be long until I read them. So hopefully I can distract myself with other things. Dude, reality TV shows, so good to watch. Especially, like, <laughs> like when you're not feeling it, you get to judge other people. Right. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> there was this one show I used to watch a lot. It was, it was pretty old. It was like Cupcake Wars. Where these like four oh, people I've seen that like too. yeah it's, it was so good I remember watching it, it when I was so little good. and like four Me people too. compete and like at the very end when the two people go head to head they have to go like this big sculpture of cupcakes and everything yeah oh that was yeah, the best part I too. it was really good now, that's some good reality TV right there yes totally. <laughs> mm-hmm. I wake up with my open book toppled on the floor. And my scr- and my scrawny body spra- sprawled across the sofa. As great as these rooms were, Chris must have been too cheap to get any sort of clock in the room. And and, and since we weren't allowed allowed our cell phones, I had to go on the expedition. I had to go on an expedition to find the time. I found my I found my way to a room that served that served as both a kitchen, and and what looked like and what and what looked like a juice bar or something. The time on the stove read ten past time, so I wasn't asleep asleep that long. I arrived at I, I arrived at Playa des Losers, or whatever Chris wanted to call call it at at seven thirty tonight, and I've already completely bore myself. I I heard some shouting down the hall. So 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 out of more boredom boredom than actual curiosity. I followed the hallway to to what I assume was a was a den d- due to the giant TV and abundance of couches and tables. There was even an open fire in in, in the pit in the corner of the in the corner lighting the room. The shouting had come from Eva yelling at another kid with scruffy hair and a thick Canadian accent. I think his name was like Ezekiel or or Malaki or something <laughs> or something like that. Anyway, the other kid looked like his life was flashing before his eyes as he as he cowered down beneath a raging Eva and a, and upon his discovery, it came to me that they were the only other former campers here. Before either of them noticed I was there, I slithered away back to the kitchen, grabbing myself a bag of tortilla chips be- before before hauling ask back to my own room. The next week of my life usually went Went read, eat, shower, watch TV, read, nap, eat, watch TV, read, sleep. It was a pretty fair, <laughs> friendly schedule that was uninterrupted with the accession of an outburst from Eva followed by terrifying screeches from the other kid. I'm only excited <laughs> that happened was... Huh? The only exciting thing that happened was the arrival of Chris's weekly rejection, which happened to be Justin. 
Even though he and I were previously on the same team, neither of us exchanged any inter interactions, with the exception of an occasional head nod when passing each other awkwardly to the bathroom. And it continued that way through the next week where the, rest, where the next contestant was brought back, and even the one after that. Now there were six teenagers living at Palo de Losers together, consisting of myself, Justin, Eva, Ezekiel, an a accident-prone bloke named Tyler, and a sobbing girl, which I can remember the name right, was separated from her squealing soul soulmate that was Katie. twice her size. Oh, <laughs> the two are like that, poor man. Katie. Oh, poor Katie. <laughs> I made a few attempts to bond with the others. When I, when I did come out of my room for occasions other than eating or doing my business, I spent time by the heavily coordinated pool reading peacefully. Of course, this piece usually interrupted with 20 minutes of Eva and Tyler having a, some sort of one-sided competition. These competitions almost ended with Tyler being twisted like a pretzel. Poor guy. If I remember Damn. right, that dude that was the dude Lindsay was fawning over, so I feel even more bad that he has to deal with that, but I guess some guys are all boobs, no brain. Yep. Personally. That's that Tyler for you. Personally, I like no boobs, lots of brains, and male. But that's just my gay ass speaking. There's 106 <laughs> comments on this one part. Oh my god. <laughs> Why is there so many? I don't even know. <laughs> there ought People to be like, really... of course. <laughs> I guess so. Oh, that's so funny. I don't know. <laughs> just the that amount. Really just the absurd amount. <laughs> Right? <laughs> Gosh. Two weeks later, Izzy and Cozy. Izzy and Cody have been eliminated. Oh, here's the one where Cody comes, finally. Yes, romance is starting. <laughs> yes, it's starting now. Yay! <laughs> Let's go. Izzy never came to the loser house, and Cody has been in the infirmary upstairs the whole time <laughs> due to a bear attack, so things aren't that different. Now that Total Drama started airing on TV, I, I, set, I set time out of my week to, to watch it, even though I already know what happens and who is eliminated. And now I'm down to my last precious book, so I'm saving it for a time of, of, so I'm saving it for a time of extreme boredom. I managed to bring myself down the hall to the public den a few times, but often I leave once Eva gets all riled up. Katie spends most of her time making hard eyes, hard eyes at Justin, and Ezekiel is usually in his room doing who knows what. And in a time, and in a time where where there was nothing good on TV, and no one and no one else, to, and no one else to visit with, I dragged myself to the third floor to give a visit to poor Cody. Yes, hey, dude. I said, "Let's go." <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Here we go. Hey, dude. I say softly as I open the door to to the infirmary. He managed to cr to croak out a high as I walk across the. The tiny room. The kid was, was propped with several pillows in, in a typical looking hospital bed. Covered in probably more bandages necessary. I pulled over a plastic folding chair chair to his right side and sat down casually. Cody's car caramel hair was, was matted down with the island's grime and his, and his own sweat. His whole body, body reeked of sweat and blood. Jeez. And just... And just camp in general. Cody, dude, you smell like chef's cooking, I, com I commented. The boy's eyes turned towards mine. Thanks, Noah. That That's one way to bring to bring up my self-confidence, he managed. <laughs> A smile creeping up on his, on, on his croaked little mouth. Aww. He smeared so innocent, it was odd to hear him speak in sarcasm. Gwen, Gwen tell you the same thing? I ask. I ask snidely. I should have felt guilty since the guy, since, since the guy is, is is maimed and all. But he just laughed. Nah, she nah, she hasn't even noticed me. Since she hasn't even noticed me since I hear, since I set her up with Trent. He he chuckled. But I could see a flicker of sadness in his aqua eyes. I'd say I'm sorry. But it sounds like you brought it upon yourself. Damn, I what say the with fuck, Noah? <laughs> Noah, damn! That's 
not something you say out loud. <laughs> right? Don't do Cody like that. Come on now. Cody brings his hand up to adjust one of his bandages. Not like she was going to get with me anyway. Might as well let might as well let one of us be happy, he said. The sadness in it in his eyes grow, growing larger. I placed a sympathetic pat on his greasy hair, ca careful not to hurt to hurt him any more than he already was. Okay, you seriously need a bath, I said said with the most I said in the most friendly way possible. Cody lifted his head a little. I would expect I have a few minor injuries weighing me down. Do you want to help? I, I offered n nonchantly. <laughs> there's, there's so many comments on that one, one sentence. Why is there? Why is there? <laughs> Wait, hold on. What's it say? I want to see. Okay. The, all of them were like, gotta go jokes. <laughs> like, gotta go walk my fridge. Gotta go eat my bed. Gotta go water my birdcage. <laughs> What? I don't know. That's just the humor again. I guess so. It's like, oh shit, I'm sorry, I gotta go. I gotta go um walk my fish. I'm sorry, I'll be right back. Right. I don't know why there's a hundred and seven comments on that. What a tiny sentence. That would be awesome, actually, he said, his voice cracking. I carefully helped him sit up and turned him so his his scraped up legs what is this? swung over the side of the bed. He was wearing a loose pair of uh, basketball shorts that brushed over his bony knees. He wasn't wearing a shirt, but his entire torso was wrapped in baby blue bandages. Careful not to put any pressure on his chest and not to make any this weird since we're not exactly that close. I helped him stand up and make his way to the little bathroom in the infirmary. You don't need to help me get undressed, do you? Oh, you don't need me to help you get undressed, do you? I questioned him seductively. He gave me a, a small sm a small laugh. No, I think I can manage, but can you help me take my bandages off? I found the end of the blue bandage and unwrapped it slowly around his body. I made a faint ripping noise every time I unwrapped it across his scars, making him wince. Before it was off, I took a good look at his scar. It was red, scabby. It was red, scabbed over, and a little puffy. It was an odd contrast to Cody's innocent appearance, which made it fascinating. Cody must have thought the same thing because he looked delighted to see a scar lying over his chest. It looks awesome. He, he mused as I ran water through the bathtub faucet, trying to get as a comfortable temperature so it won't sting his scar. As soon as I turned off the water. I gave him a small pat on his bony shoulder. Will you wait for me? He asked with wide eyes like a puppy's. I smirked and nodded. Sure, kid. Enjoy your bath. I shut the door and went to my chair by his now empty bed and resorted to rereading one of the books I already finished. I was interrupted by a small scream from the bathroom. I smirked oh. knowing that brave little Cody had just swollen wound wet. Oh. Ugh. Oh, gross. And thus, I read my book, waited for the dude to clean off weeks of camp off his wounded body. But something was bothering me about the, the effect Cody had on my usual quite snobby attitude. But I just won't, but I just won't sort it out. So, I'll ignore it. Mm. This is getting good so far. It really is, honestly. I'm already seeing, like, the chemistry going on with this dude. I love it. All right, I think we have time for one more chapter. Okay. But I think this is where we start getting more development between the two. Yeah. So this is going to be awesome. Oh, that going to be so good. I'm just like... Mindless player. When Cody came out of the bathroom, he was wearing the same shorts as before and had a towel dra draped around his shoulders like a cape. He walked like you You expect someone in so much pain to walk. The poor guy. When he reached to the bed, he flopped down on his back, letting out a slight grunt upon impact. I raised an eyebrow at him to imply the obvious question. Yeah, I'm fine, but I'll need new bandages, he groaned, adjusting himself so he could lay comfortably in bed. I stood up and, straight and straightened out my sweater vest. I'll find a nurse. Don't hurt yourself, I said. P picking up picking up my, my book from the end of the bed. Thanks, Noah, Cody whimpered. Already starting to fall asleep, 
I rolled my eyes and set and set out to find the nurse who, who, who was usually who was usually on lifeguard duty for the for the idiots who often populated the pool. Once I was assured Cody would have taken care of it, I found a quiet quiet place on the pool deck to lay down and nap. It was quite peaceful in, 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 until I brutally woken up by my stupid self rolling into the pool pool mid sleep. I spat did you water do out that? of my mouth, leaving behind a taste of chlorine. I grump. I grumbled and, and sat and sat myself on the edge of the pool and watched Tyler, Eva, Justin, and Katie toss around the beach ball. So, some more aggressively than others. Cough, Eva, cough. Was he as sleeping entertaining like, as around the edge of the, of the right. pool or something? <laughs> right. <laughs> what a weird place to sleep. <laughs> right? That, yeah, on the pool, yeah. Like, what? Like, what in the... <laughs> A little weird guy right here. <laughs> right. As entertaining as it was to watch Tyler near down himself every six minutes, I wound up so I, I wound up stopped getting a mango smoothie out of the fridge and made my way back to my room. I turned on the TV. I, oh, you can go ahead if you want. Okay. I turned on the TV to find Total Drama Island being played. After my 30 seconds, I was able to piece together that, that it was playing the episode with, with our favorite challenge, the awake -a Needless to say, I didn't get much screen time. Most of the episode has been focused around Gwen and Trent's little hookup. But of course, the one time the, one time the camera f actually focused on my idiot face was when I, was when I hammed on Cody's ear. That's amazing. <laughs> yes. I actually had for gotten about it until now <laughs> i i and rewatching gave me a different feeling that than than it did that than when it happened i remember it being annoying and embarrassing but seeing that it happened from third person view gave me a ting a tingling feeling in my face making my cheeks flush the second i realized that that was happening i hit myself in the head with with the nearest book no, 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 no. Remember what you said before the show started. No romance, no distractions. Distractions Ooh. from what? Gay panic. Ooh, <laughs> yeah, very gay panic right now. Gay panic! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Distractions from what? The game that I got eliminated from weeks ago? The education I'm getting here from this cheapo resort? There's nothing here that should stop mm -hmm. me from admitting my own feelings to myself. No one said I have to tell Cody I like him. If that's even the case. Even if I do, after the competition's over, I'll never see him again anyway. What have I got to lose? Your sanity? Common sense? Composure? My inner dialogue was getting on my nerves. I hit myself in the face again for good measure, clicking off the TV and standing up. I stretched out my cramped body and made my way over to the infirmary to check on Cody. When I got there, he was watching The Lion King on one of those rolling TV sta- Oh my god, like, like the- yeah, the ones in the classroom. Oh, uh, I don't think I've ever had to deal with those. I think I was too young for that. Yeah. <laughs> I was too old, technically. Yeah. His hair was sticking up in weird places, and he had a loose t-shirt covering his fresh bandages. When he saw me come in, his face lit like a fire. Noah, thank goodness. I was so lonely here by myself. He said with a sniff smile. I smirked and sat in the chair beside him, which hasn't moved at all. Well, this place is so dull. I look forward to the time I spend with the sick kid in the hospital. I said, my voice dropping in sarcasm. Cody chuckled. Nurse said I should be out of here by, by next week. Once the stitches are healing up more, he beamed. I chuckled. I'd rather be locked, I'd rather be locked safely in here than be in Eva's rage zone. Cody gave a small smile, small giggle, standing up using the support from his pillows. It sounds like a blast down there. I shook my head. The longer you stay, the worse it gets. Give it a week and you'll be thinking the same thing. No, I give... Cody gave a weak shrug, his shirt clinging to the bandages on his chest. Still pumped, he said, smiling like an excited kid. Heard there was a pool and everything. I couldn't help but laugh in his enthusiasm. This kid was so far from being one of the players he wants to be, and he knows it too. On the inside, <laughs> he's a genuine kid who loves swimming and chocolate ice cream. 
Why is there Aww. like 110 comments on this? There's, why is there, there's so many comments on a lot of these, like, a lot of these paragraphs. Like, what? What are people on? <laughs> right? I can't That's even see them. Know. That's what I want to know. <laughs> oh, God. People are insane. But it's okay. We love them. Yep. They're just they're passionate all. about their ship. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Just like I am about Tess and Allie. <laughs> Bro, what's the other... I know there was a ship in Total Drama that I, like, lived by, and I can't remember it now. Uh, uh, a little controversial, but I love Gwen and Duncan together. I feel like they got some good chemistry together. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, Courtney was so annoying. I did not like her at all. <laughs> yeah, same. I never liked Courtney from the start, honestly. Right? Right? <laughs> she is horrible! I made my bi daily trek. To, I made my bi daily trek to the infirmary, to the infirmary, where I expected to see Cody still asleep, but instead he was sitting on the side of the bed, legs swinging back and forth. After all the weeks I spent locked in my room all, all day, all day, but all day by myself, it was nice to have Cody hang out with. To have Cody to hang out with, even though I was basically just his nurse. He 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 grinned his he grinned his gap gap tooth little grin as I, as I walked through the room. Still sporting my sweatpants and, and the shirt I, and the shirt I sl sleep in. What? Why so happy? I raised my eyebrows sleep. I raised my eyebrows sleepily. His, his, his grin doubled. I get to leave my. I get to leave the infirmary today. He cheered, S standing standing up out of the bed. He he must have had a bath bath last night. Be because he because he smelled like pine needles and rain. His hair was fluff. His hair was fluffy, and and and, and in his and in his face. <laughs> and for when, a guy who doesn't think that he's like in love, you right. two are bringing a lot of details of what you notice about him. Just saying, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> when he stood up, it it took him a minute to get his balance. He was shirtless and wearing the same shorts he was wearing the week before. Whoa there, Tiger. Don't don't you need to check with the nurse? I said, offering 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 his my arm to help to help him balance my balance himself. I already did I already did, he grinned, holding up the key key to the new room down down on the second floor with the rest of us, I chuckled. Alright, I'll get your suitcase, I said, grabbing the handle on on his red flag and and rolled it towards the door. He, he he followed behind me, using the suitcase as a support system. Once he had stumbled his way down down the stairs and into his room, only a few only a few doors doors down from my own, he ended up crashing on, on the couch. But not but not before he admired the quality of his room. My old TV, he shouted. My parents won't let me have one. His enthusiasm made me laugh. Well, I'll let you settle in. I said as he dragged his suitcase into his bedroom. I'm in room 219, but don't bother me before 9 or after 11, I sneered, giving him a smile. Okie dokie, I heard him ch chant before I shut the door behind me. He is a cutie, there's no doubt about that, but I still wonder what I found so attractive about him. I don't know, dude, things just happen. <laughs> right? <laughs> That's true. Perhaps it was his innocent persona that he tries to hide, or maybe it was his desperation this environment made me feel. But I promised myself I wouldn't think about it too hard and went to the juice bar. I ground myself a kiwi smoothie and sat at the bar. Not too long after, Tyler and Justin sat down at the bar too, leaving a seat between myself and them. I had no problem with either of them, but as soon as Eva came I s and started to pick a fight with Tyler, I was out of that place. <laughs> Having nowhere else to go, I went back to the room and turned on the TV. I can I couldn't really tell you what was playing though because I was lost somewhere deep in the depths of Noah's brain. I wish I could say I was pondering something a bit more noble, but we all know exactly what I was thinking. Cody's impact on me was all I could think about. The way he wore down my hard uh 
sarcastic outer layer. The way his innocence made me smile in the way only a good book or a shirtless supermodel could. The way he can, the way he made me so made me so easily fall into a trap without me even thinking about it. I can't believe I let that happen to myself. As much as I've been avoiding it to say, I like Cody. I, I like Cody. I, I whispered under the under the white nose of the TV. I stood up. I stood up and, sh- and and shook out my hair. I like Cody. I whispered again as I made my way to the door. I I, I shoved my key in my pocket and slammed the door behind me. I walked down the ha- I walked down the hall to Cody's room and knocked on his door. Within twenty seconds, w- within twenty seconds, he he pulled open the door. Hey Noah, he said w- with a su- with a small smile. Hi hi Cody. How's your room treating you? He looked around the room as if he had to remember exactly what it looked like. Good, he beamed, looking back at me. Want a tour of the playa? I, I, I offered to him. He immediately nodded. I gestured him out of the hallway, the door closing behind him. We, 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 walked, we walked myself leading down to where the kitchen was. Justin was still there, and Katie was on his right side, admiring him and Beth who must have arrived not too long ago, was, was, on, was on his left. I, I gave Cody a quick explanation of the room, him showing a complete disinterest. Can, can we go see the pool now, he asked, giving me puppy dog eyes. God, it was adorable, adorably evil, <laughs> I said. Yeah, I guess we can, I said, and let him out of the pool deck. Only Ty- only Tyler and, Ezek- and Ezekiel were out were out at the moment, and Tyler was only half conscious after hitting his head on the bottom of the pool. Half conscious. Typical, <laughs> typical Tyler. He's gonna fucking drown in the pool. No one's gonna help this man. <laughs> right. <laughs> Everyone just walks by. He's like like drowning corpse. I'm like, yep, just typical Tyler. <laughs> right. <laughs> As unimpressed I, as unimpressed I was, Cody looked absolutely thrilled. <laughs> Can we go swimming? He pleaded. I cocked my eyebrow. Right now? He 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 nodded he nodded vigorously and I sighed, making it as audible as possible. Fine, you can't you can't make me like it, I spat, rolling my eyes. You underestimate me, Noah, he grinned. He grabbed my hand and and, and pulled me up to wh- to where our rooms were. His small hands, his small hands gripping, gripping my wrist, made my skin, skin tingle with warmth. The, the contrast between my own dark skin, skin and his pale, fre- fre- freckled hand made me briefly Im- imagine us together in an intimate way. But I quickly, but I quickly shook it, shook it out of my head when I, when I felt my face getting hot. He he pulled me all the way down to his room until he until he ushered me ushered me into my own room, so so I could so I can change into my my own bathing suit. I dragged myself into the bedroom to change. But by now I've been I've been li- I've been li- living here long long enough for my room to be a bit more personalized per se. I I I had a little pyramid of book uh, 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 I had a little pyramid of books on the desk table in the living room. And I had all my organized organized in in the, in the small closet inside the bedroom. I pulled my I pulled my swimsuit off its hangers, and threw it out of the bed. I took off my shirt, and and not in the way and not in the way you weirdos are picturing this in your heads. <laughs> in fact, I'm probably the least least sexy sexy ex contestant on on the show, except for maybe Eva, but at least she's in shape. And eh, I'd probably beat Beth too. Damn. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Just straight up. <laughs> Once I removed my pants, the brief coldness gave me a bit of a problem where problems shouldn't occur when going swimming with another guy who definitely is not gay. After after I opened the door to a very eager Cody in a swimsuit, my problem didn't get any better. I don't... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I practic- he practically shoved me all the way to the pool and then literally shoved me into the pool. In exchange, I, sp- I spat all the water in my mouth into his face and b- 
being the enthusiastic child he is, he didn't seem to have any problem with my saliva water all up in his business. Ew. Oh, so lucky for me. Literally everyone else was at the pool too. So I ended up sitting at the cabana and watching Tyler and Justin keep playing away from the, away with the, from the beach ball. I must have fallen asleep right around then. Because the next thing I see is a very sunburnt Cody sitting next to me slurping some kind of pineapple-y smoothie. Once I sat up groggily, he turned his head and grinned at me, showing off his little tooth gap. Noah! I gave him an over-emphasized over wave. Cody, fancy seeing you here. Such a small world. I said with a sleepy smirk. He rolled his eyes. Why didn't you swim? He asked, poking his straw into the ice inside the glass, making it swirl around. Swimming isn't really in my alley, I explained. My feet dangled into the water, giving such... Give... Gave... What? <laughs> Cody gave his lip out in a fax pout. Come on, Noah. How often do you get to go swimming? He pleaded. Never I want, really. It's not like pools are that rare. Cody rolled his eyes again, a little too forceful. He wasn't usually the type of guy who used sarcasm. Fine, but we should do something you want to do now. He groaned, hoping down, hopping down into the pool and crawled his way back to the deck getting a towel. I followed him, shaking the excess water out of my hair. I wrapped a towel around myself and faced Cody. What do you want to do then? He asked me, running the, the terry cloth over his uh, dripping legs. I smirked and didn't have to say anything. I'm looking right at it. There are 200 fucking comments on it. What in the world? There's almost 300 comments on here. I don't want to open it. I know it's going to be there. Good lord. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, how do you like in this book, by the way? I act. I honestly really like it. It's so good. That's how I, I love learned. how, like, in character... In character, everyone is. Especially Noah. Yeah. I mean, he's supposed to be the snarky know-it-all, and he does seem yeah. like it here. Oh, he seems exactly like it. Like, <laughs> like they got his character, like, spot on, and I love it. I, I can't wait to read more at a later time. But Same. I, I, I remember finding this book, and I was like, this, I was like... I was, like, half, like, joking about reading NoCo stuff, and then I read this, oh, and yeah. I'm like, oh my god, this is super good. And then I saw that the author made a sequel to said book, and I'm like, alright, I gotta read this too as well. And they're nice. both really good. I, 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 nah. I got, I gotta go check, I gotta go check those out. Yeah, I, I mean, I mean so I'm already good. gonna have them in my library for the next time we read, if we do read yes. again. Oh, yes. But, I'm really looking forward to reading more. But I will have this book linked down below if you guys would like to read uh, ahead of the, the first three chapters. I hope we can do this one again. Yes. Oh, yes. Absolutely. But now it's time for everyone's favorite segment, The Wheel of Fan Fiction, where we get to <laughs> let this wheel spin and we'll yes. see what fan fiction we get to read. I shall share a screen for you, dudes, so you can see the the little yippee. Let's go. All right. Yeehaw. All right. So this has a bunch of total drama ships in it, plus some <laughs> adventure camp people. So whatever it lands on will be the ship that we read if we find one. It might be a one shot, but we'll try our best yeah. to find the ship. But all right, let's spin it and see what we get. Oh boy. Please be something good. There's so many options on this wheel. <laughs> Oh, uh, you! <laughs> Wait, <laughs> bro! <laughs> no. Tyler X Alejandro. Well, there you go, guys. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There, there it is. <laughs> yep, Tyler X Alejandro. Yep. <laughs> oh no. God, this is gonna be a nightmare. I, I can really yes. see it. No, <laughs> we're doomed. Yeah, we, I can, I don't know. I don't see us finding a book that isn't mature for this for these couple. Yeah. Oh. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Um. So I guess next time Kenzie's on here, we're gonna read a Tyler X Alejandro if we find one. Yep. <laughs> yep. Strap in. Yes, definitely strap in for this one. Uh, we're gonna try finding yeah. one that's not inappropriate. <laughs> yeah. Fingers crossed. Yeah, fingers crossed. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I, we put that in there as a joke. <laughs> right? Because I thought it would be that funny. We actually got it. <laughs> oh gosh. Well, my name is Phoenix, and I've been joined by Kenzie, and thank you guys for joining us for the Wattpad Book Club. And we'll see you guys next time. Yep. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.